in the exact spot where the Pilgrims originally built their fort, overlooking Plymouth Harbor, sits Burial Hill Cemetery. The Pilgrims buried their dead here as early as the 1620s. The wooden grave markers they used have been long lost to time. The earliest known burial stone is Edward Gray, who died in 1681. The final burial here was in 1957. Notable people buried here are William Bradford, Governor of Plymouth Colony, Mary Allerton, the last surviving Mayflower passenger, famous Patriot leader James Otis, and legend has it that Squanto was laid to rest here, somewhere in an unmarked grave. Burial Hill Cemetery is one of the most haunted places in New England. Many of the spirits here are not at rest as they roam the hills. They say the stairs in the front are haunted by a spirit called Anna who waits for her husband to return from sea. Visitors often smell a strong aroma of roses in this area. Men with facial hair seem to be particularly affected by her. Shadow figures are seen walking about the graveyard at night. Many think they have something to do with the mass grave of 61 sailors who died in Plymouth Harbor during a storm in 1778. In the center of this all, at the top of the hill, is a tree that was used as a hanging tree in the 17th century, in the same area where someone recently passed away in 2010. My name is Bailey. I've been interested in the paranormal for over five years. After taking a tour of haunted locations in Plymouth, I decided to investigate the claims of paranormal activity at Burial Hill. I'm being joined on this investigation by my girlfriend. My name is Megan and I've been dating Bailey for three years now. Our passion is investigating the paranormal. I'm a clairaudient and clairvoyant psychic medium, which means I can hear and see spirit. I've been experiencing this since I was three years old. My great-grandmother is also a medium. We investigated the cemetery several times over the course of a month. Some investigations took place at night and some during the day to see when the graveyard was most active with paranormal activity. We used a few different devices to validate our experiences. In addition to filming with my camera and taking photos on our smartphones, we used a digital voice recorder in an attempt to capture spirit voices known as EVPs or an electronic voice phenomenon like this. Is James McGee here? We used an SB7 spirit box, a device that uses white noise to allow you to speak to spirits in real time. Spirits are said to have the ability to manipulate electromagnetic frequencies. We use this EMF reader to try and detect them. Are you a resident of the graveyard of Burial Hill in Plymouth? That's a yes for you, Bailey. We also used several smartphone apps that were developed by experts in the paranormal. We entered the cemetery just after dark on our first night of investigation. You know where it was? The tree? Yeah. We made our way up the path into the center of Burial Hill. I'm really scared. It's this one, yeah. I stopped at the top of the hill to take some photos. Nothing. 
Where is it? Oh, it's over here. We decide to go investigate the stairs. Along the way, we stop at the grave of Hannah Howland, the spirit who is said to haunt the steps. While Bailey is searching for the grave, I take a few more photos and catch this orb. Hannah Howland. Yeah. We're locked on these things. I feel weird about We're going to investigate the stairs where Hannah is supposed to haunt. Do you want to try and do an EVP session here? Yeah, here. Sitting on the stairs. You do that, you're the man. And I'll video call. Is there anything you'd like to say? Do you like when people visit? How old are you? How did you die? How many spirits are here? Are there any evil spirits here? While Bailey is using the voice recorder, I take a few photos. I got something. What did you get? She got an orb in the background. Baby. What? It was right here. Yeah. Okay, right there. Then the next photo. It's closer. Yeah. Orbs represent energy patterns of spirits. Ghosts are believed to manifest as glowing spheres of white, gold, crimson, and blue. Hannah, is that you coming to see us? Coming closer? Unfortunately, we do not get any EVPs. Due to the wind, it's difficult to use the voice recorder outdoors. We both get a sense of dread about going back up the stairs. Suddenly, feeling a sense of dread about going back in here. I don't want to go back in there. Okay. We decide to investigate the graves next to the staircase when something disturbing happens. I'm taking pictures right now because when I take these pictures I like to get orbs. Their energy forms of spirits. Show yourself. As I'm taking more photographs, I start to feel a burning sensation on my neck. I ask Bailey if he sees anything, and his reaction makes me even more frightened. Holy f**k. Holy f**k. What? I feel like it's burning. Is there anything? I don't see any marks. Wait. Where's the burning? Right here? On my neck. I don't see any marks. Oh, wait, wait. What? What? Give me your phone. What? What? Shut up. What? No, what? what? No. What? Let me take a picture. Let me take a picture. My phone died. What is it? Let me take a picture. One, oh, two, three. Oh my god, let's leave. That scared me. <laughs> you want to keep investigating or what? 
Megan just got three scratches on her neck. And my phone died. That's crazy. I'm scared. That's terrifying. Why is it always me, never you? Because you're the medium. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm the girl, you're the boy. I don't want to mess with the boy. We start to walk up the hill along the front of the cemetery. The spirits are weak. They don't show themselves on the pictures. I don't know if you should be taunting them. I want to get full body apparition. The spirits are out though. I mean, they're showing themselves in the... As we continue to investigate, the scratches on my neck continue to burn more and more. Baby, I feel like it as, like, progressively it's getting worse. What? My scratches. Because it's burning. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see two of them really clearly. We stop at a set of graves that Megan feels drawn to. We're gonna do an EVP session. Charles and George, perfect names. Hi Charles, hi George. Um, are you here with us right now? Receiving no evidence, we decide to walk over to an area where Megan's hair was pulled a few weeks earlier on a tour of haunted locations in Plymouth. I'm gonna go find out why you pulled your, your hair was pulled. No. I wanna do it, I wanna have an EVP session. You can film it. No, I don't wanna go up there. I think we should, then we can leave. No, I mean, I got scratched and I'd rather do it another night. I got scratched, you did not get scratched. You would be freaked out. Reluctantly, I agreed to go investigate the spot where my hair was pulled. Last time we were here, one of you pulled Megan's hair. Why did you do that? It wasn't really nice of you to do that. I never did anything to you, Albert. Do you like to pick on girls? I don't want to falsely accuse anyone. If it wasn't Albert, then who did pull Megan's hair? Tell us now. Bailey, my neck is burning again. N Megan. I did not, what, what? Stop. There's like three deep scratches. Okay, I'm leaving. Hey, get back here. No, I'm done. We should take a picture. No, I'm done, Bailey. I'm done. How do we get out of here? Those steps? Let's go. Yeah, let's just go out the steps. <gasps> Keep going. For me. What? From me. After Megan receives a second set of three scratches, this time on the other side of her neck, we decide it's a good time to end the investigation for the night. Two days after our first investigation, something amazing happens. I received several texts from my old spiritual mentor, Mary Beth Ann Shaman, who is also a medium. I had not spoken to her in over a month, and she had no prior knowledge that we were investigating burial hell. Unexpectedly, she texted me saying that a spirit named George came to her and that he loves me. Hi, George. At first, I think she's referring to a family member, but then she says that he thinks I'm his wife. It blew my mind when she asked me if I got scratched. No one was aware of this other than Bailey and I. She also says that George doesn't like Bailey. Mary Beth also says that a female spirit named Abigail latches on to me. She even knows that I have green eyes and I've never met her.
I decide to stay away from George's grave on future investigations. I don't remember seeing a grave marked Abigail Churchill. I decide to find it on our next investigation. Realizing it was difficult to record EVPs outdoors, we purchased the SB7 Spirit Box for our next investigation. Unfortunately, the footage from the next two investigations was lost. We spent a large portion of the second day looking for Abigail's grave. I brought roses for her. When we found her grave, we realized it was one of the closest graves to the staircase. Could this have been Abigail, coming down the stairs to see what we were doing on our first investigation? Thankfully, I saved a few clips of us using the spare box for my Instagram before the footage was lost. Your grave, Sam. On day four, we captured two of the most amazing paranormal photos we have ever seen. In the middle of this white fence is the apparition of a young girl. Against this tree is a shadow figure. This photo was taken at dusk, and it would have been impossible for a person to cast this shadow in the dim light. After several investigations, we take these photos inside of my house. They look eerily similar to the blue orb seen at the staircase. We decided to investigate and got this intelligent response to a question about Burial Hill using the EMF detector. Are you a resident of the graveyard of Burial Hill in Plymouth? That's a yes for you, Bailey. Does that mean yes? Oh, wow. Are you happy? Are you sad? <gasps> oh my gosh. For the fourth investigation, my father Todd, who was also interested in the paranormal, came along with us. In addition to our regular equipment, for this investigation we used several smartphone apps that were developed by paranormal expert Stephen Huff. When we first arrived at the cemetery, we decided to investigate the tree where the photo of the shadow man was taken. Did we capture a picture of you? The spirit that was seen in the picture by this tree. Are you evil? Amazingly, while my father and I investigate, Megan captures this photo of a figure. Could this be the same man we photographed before? Next, we go to investigate an area where we had gotten evidence before. We tried using an app that allows you to see apparitions through static. Oh, there's a- Oh my god! What? Oh my- A f***ing face just appeared in this thing! A full f***ing- <laughs> Do- the, Look, I kid you not, feel my arms. Feel my arms. Oh my god. A f***ing face just appeared in Did this thing. Did you get it? No! <laughs> Do you see how that is? Yeah. It, it was a full like a man? white spirit face! Did it look like a man or woman? I don't know! <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen! Can you do that again so I can get a picture of you, please? That was awesome! If you look closely, you can see what appears to be the shape of a head. Oh, there was a- Oh my god! Before we leave this spot, we catch one more voice on the spare box. What was that? As it's getting dark, we head over to investigate the hanging tree. We use a smartphone app called The Portal, which is designed to work as a mobile version of Steve Huff's Wonderbox. 
we hear multiple voices coming through the device. It can be difficult to make out what is being said, but we were able to get several intelligent responses to our questions. I heard yup. That was a direct response. I saw you! Thank you! Were you guilty or innocent? Innocent. Innocent. Were you a pilgrim? No. 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 Before we end our investigation, we stop at the mass grave of shipwrecked sailors, and for the second time tonight, we hear one of our names. Is it? Is this James? Originally, we had planned on doing four investigations. However, since the footage from two investigations was lost, we decided to return for a final time. We focused heavily on using the SB7 spare box. As soon as we get to the cemetery, we go right to the hanging tree. Using the SB7 spirit box, we have what seems to be intelligent conversation with the afterlife. Can you tell me your name? How many people died on this tree? Yeah. Could this be a spirit named Adam proclaiming his innocence centuries after being hung? Later, we went to investigate the grave of the sailors from the Brigadier General Arnold. Any spirits here? I can testify. I can testify. I can testify. Are there any spirits here? In total. Total? In, in total. They got reeds and pop. They got reeds and pop. They got reeds and pop. Did you forget your name? Kevin. 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 Name? Kevin. Any messages? Any messages? Beautiful. Beautiful. Any messages? Beautiful. The captain. The captain. He was the captain. Could this be referring to Captain James McGee, who was buried in this very spot? No. Loud noise. You don't like that? No. Hide and rose again. And rose again. This is the tree where we got the spirit. So if any spirits want to communicate in this device, it uses radio waves. Let's try it. Your resurrection. Resurrection? You're resurrecting from the grave? I did a crime. I did a crime. Your resurrection. I'm cross. If you ever decide to visit Burial Hill, just remember, you are not alone.